Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. And today uh, we're going to look at building, this is part two of building a simple catalog item. Uh, so if you remember from the last session, we looked at actually building it and maintain items, very simple catalog item, just a uh, multiple choice question, it's just a Mac or PC. Uh, today what we're going to look at is actually designing that flow behind it. So getting that automation in it. And once again, this will be a, a pretty simple flow, but just to kind of get you the idea of what you're going to be looking for. Um, so uh, I've already gotten into flow designer here. Uh, so let's go ahead and start here. So the first thing right here, we've got our trigger here. Let me go ahead and add a trigger. Uh, it's going to be from our service catalog. And now let's get into the actions. So my first action here, get catalog variables. And this is going to be from the requested item record. So on the right hand side under the data section, what we can do is just kind of, if we have the data that we want, just drag and drop it over. So I want to grab my data from my requested item. And this is going to be my video catalog item. So we can see that the data that I have to be able to grab is going to be, is this a Mac or a PC, which is what we expected. And then I'm going to go ahead and select that. All right. So now that we've got the actual data from that catalog item, now we can choose additional things to do. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for approval. And it's going to be the requested item record. And it'll automatically populate uh, these fields. So the table is the SC requested item. The approval field is approval. The journal field is uh, approval history. Um, now we have to choose when it approves. So I'm going to choose anyone approves and let's see, I'm going to go into here when we assign to manager approves. All right. Now, this doesn't have to be, you can choose what you want for this. This is just an example here assigned to manager approval. Um, that may not be what you're looking for. Um, let's see, let's take a quick look at some of these other items here. We scroll down here. Let's look under requests. So if you see these drop down items here, these little triangles, you can actually dig further into it. Um, so you can go into any of the fields that are on the request, the requested item, if you've got any tasks. Um, so let's see here. So it might make more sense if we go, this is under request, if we go under requested for, and then we grab their manager instead. So remove the other one. Um, that might make more sense. It just it really depends on what you're trying to do. Uh, in this case, it's just an example, and so we'll hit done here. So the next thing we're going to want to do is to do um, something like an if statement here. So we'll go to logic, and we'll do an if. And then on the right hand side, we can actually pull data from the flow itself. So we can see we've got the number two here, ask for approval, that correlates to this number two and the actions ask for approval. And what we're gonna want here is, in this case, I'm gonna take the approval state. 
And so if the state is rejected, so they, they didn't accept it, then do X, Y, and Z here. Um, we're going to continue this uh, in the next video, so please stay tuned for uh, part three of this. Thanks, and have a great day.